Hi guys, got a request from Ronan Hughes to revisit my video that I did on dissimilar metals, uh, which I did because I was doing potato batteries and lemon batteries and that sort of thing, and I was just wondering what sort of voltage I could get from some different types of metal. Well, I can't do exactly the same video again because I don't have the same components. I've got a copper strip here that I found and I've got a metal bar here or at least metal tube. I've no idea what this metal tube's made of and I'm guessing steel or something like that. But if we pop it in the jam jar which has just got ordinary tap water in it at the moment uh, we're getting about 9 90 millivolts. We're on the millivo millivolt scale here. It's actually dropping away slowly, but we'll just assume the ordinary tap water has given us about 90 millivolts. Now, what Ronan Hughes wanted me to do was use some canned energy drink to see what difference we got. So, I've got some Red Bull. some monster energy and I've got some relentless and I've also got some cheap supermarket uh, coke or cola as they call it so first thing I'll do is I'll go and empty this out and then we'll put some ordinary vinegar in it and see what sort of voltage we get then and then we'll try the energy drinks and then as a final test we'll try the cheap supermarket cola. So I'll empty this one out and I'll try some ordinary distilled malt vinegar. So, same amount, more or less, and we've got 270 millivolts, or 273, 274. I'll go and empty that out and we'll try Red Bull. Right, I've emptied it out and swilled it out with tap water again. Looks like we've got a little bit of current flowing from the bit of water that's at the very bottom. Right, that looks clear. I'll try Red Bull. So that's about 209, so that's less than vinegar anyway. Again, I've swilled it out in tap water, so there's obviously a little bit of tap water left on the plate, and we're getting a little bit of current flow at the moment, a positive current flow. But hopefully that's low enough not to make a significant difference to the results. Uh, we'll try the Monster Energy next. So off we got about 180 something, I think it might have gone up to 190 briefly, but we seem to be around 180 something. Again we've got a tiny bit of residual voltage showing 
Obviously there's something flowing through the water that I've flushed through the jar again. It seems to be dropping away to zero anyway. So this time we'll try Relentless. She went right up to 200 and something there, didn't it? But again, it seems to have settled around the 180-ish. Right, now we'll try some fairly flat, ordinary cheap, does it say, diet cola. So what we've got there, well that's actually going up slowly, 160, that's saying at the moment. Before I go back to ordinary tap water, I've just found we've got a bottle of still Scottish mountain water. So we'll give that a try just to see what that's got in it. Just a little point about this meter not going back to zero, that could easily be a voltage difference between the crocodile clips I've got and the metal that I'm connecting them to. So this is not a good laboratory condition test, this is just the best I can do in my kitchen. So I'm not going to worry about the odd few millivolts that are showing up here because we're talking hundreds of millivolts for the test, not just the odd one or two or even ten. That's insignificant. Right, let's try this mountain water. Fifty something. I think something that's important to notice is whether it's a negative value or a positive value. You have to go back and look at the other figures and see whether they were negative or positive. Because there is a significant difference. So, ordinary tap water. around a bit. We're showing about 80 millivolts at the moment. Positive. Summary time. What have we got? We've got a glass jam jar with some liquid in it and two dissimilar metals. I'm not trying to pretend this is a proper laboratory test or comparison. It's just what I had available. So I'm pretty confident that the copper is copper but I've no idea what this square shaped bit of metal tubing is. It could be anything. It could be steel. Um, that's the most likely thing. Uh, but all we're doing is a comparison, so it doesn't really matter 
exactly what it is as long as we get a difference between the different uh, liquids that we put in there. And at the moment it's just ordinary tap water and that's steadily gone up since I put it in there. It was registering about 80 millivolts originally and it's gone up to 124. It seems to have stabilised there at 124. So ordinary tap water, 124 millivolts, positive. Whereas you'll have to go back through the individual tests to make a note of what all the other readings were. But I seem to remember they were giving us a negative uh, voltage. So at the moment my co copper conductor is the anode and the other one is the cathode because the anode is the positive one but when we use the other liquids as the electrolyte it actually swapped over and it was negative so the silver coloured square shaped tube was the anode and the copper became the cathode So, draw your own conclusions, that's all I can say. What happens if I add this to the water? Hopefully you can see We've now got a negative reading, 120. It's dropping slowly, but uh, so we went from a positive reading to a negative by adding the energy drink.